I'm here with trained heroic athlete Ben Croxton. He's going to show us how to deadlift today. You'll notice initially right in the setup position we want those feet underneath the hips. All right, So not quite as wide as a squat. A lot of athletes tend to put those out too wide. We want good driving force into the ground so set them up right underneath the hip. He's going to get down and put his hands on the bar. You know just outside the legs wherever it's comfortable here we just don't want the arms to interfere with the legs. In that setup position He's going to be nice and tight in the back right here, engaging uh, the musculature around the spine, locking that spine in. And you'll notice he's not sitting down like he was on his cleans. He's got his hips up a little bit. And what that does allows him to ex engage the hamstrings and the glutes. Now from this position, he's going to keep that good tight back position and just push through those heels. Bring the bar straight up. And there he is at the top of the lift, squeezing the glutes to make sure he finishes the lift. And then he just brings it right back down, nice smooth position. On the way down, he's just going to push the hips back, the knees are, are basically straight, and the bar goes down. Really emphasizing holding that back position and coming up and driving through the heels. Now some problems we could have with the deadlift, there's a few things that could happen when the athlete's down in the, in the bottom position as they uh, just go ahead and put that bar down. As they come up, they might lose this strong back position right here and round out. We never want to see this rounded out position right here. We never actually want to see the spine move during the lift. All right, we want that locked in. Another thing we'll see as we're looking at the bar, if the, especially if the athlete's sitting down a little bit, what they'll do is they'll leave the knees here in the way of the bar and they'll push through their heels and they'll actually lift around the knees. All right, we don't want to see that. That's not an efficient bar path. And then another thing we'll see is athletes, when they set up, uh, maybe sitting down a little bit, what they'll do is they'll push through their heels and you'll see their butt come up first. We don't want to see that either. Basically, we want to see the torso or from the shoulders and the hips rise at the same time in that movement. And the last thing I want to point out, if you look at the hand position right now, we've got uh, the knuckles forward in that grip. That's a great place to start. And as the load gets heavier, we can always switch out to where we have an alternate grip. That'll help the athlete lift more weight in there. The only thing I suggest for athletes is that they switch the hand that they're turning on these to make sure they're fully balanced in there. And one more deadlift. And that's how it's done right there. Good job.